and welcome back to my channel, OWO Nani Kore. My name is Ash, and today I will be giving you 10 tips for learning Japanese, brought to you by a Japanese major. So, uh, why am I giving you advice of all people? One, because I'm a Japanese major, and two, even though I'm only a sophomore in college, I am a year above everybody else would be had they just started out because I tested into the 3000 levels. So even though I'm the youngest in all of my classes, I'm usually the most advanced. So I take my Japanese studies very seriously and I get it. Japanese can be really hard, but that's why I'm here to help you. And that's why I'm going to give you my personal 10 tips for learning Japanese. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So, tip number one is to familiarize yourself with hiragana and katakana. If you have already learned hiragana, make sure you also study up on katakana. I know katakana seems really hard at first and a lot of the symbols look exactly alike, but make sure you learn it because if you are stuck reading the romanji, nine times out of 10, you are going to sound like this. Konnichiwa, watashi no namaye wa ashton desu. If you want to learn Japanese, don't read English letters, like learn the Japanese, take the time, learn your hiragana, learn your katakana, and don't rely on romanji if you don't have to. So tip number two, I know y'all are gonna hate me for this one, but I promise you it is the most important tip on this list, number two. The number two tip I have for you is take the time to learn kanji. No, 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 don't start yelling at me yet. Don't start booing at me. I promise you kanji will be your best friend. Kanji is everywhere. You cannot avoid kanji. Like, you need to learn it. Learning kanji will separate you from a beginner to a pro. Pro Japanese learners will master kanji. They will understand kanji. They will know all the different readings of kanji. They'll know how to write the kanji. Why should I go out of my way to learn kanji, Ash? Well, let me show you why. Because instead of writing everything in just hiragana, which Japanese readings will almost never have pure hiragana and katakana, by the way. So not only will you advance in your Japanese reading level, but you'll just advance in your understanding in general. The reason why kanji is your best friend is because it shortens everything. So instead of writing out watashi no namae wa ashuton desu, you just write the kanji for watashi, wa, your name, like namae, and then your name, and then des, instead of having to write down every single hiragana and katakana. It takes too much time and it just shortens your time. So. Do yourself a favor, learn kanji, and learn it as soon as you can. Learn as many as you can. Do not avoid kanji. So that brings me to tip number three, and that is to stop thinking in English and start thinking in Japanese. You might be looking at me like, Ash, I'm learning Japanese. I don't know Japanese, so how on earth can I think in Japanese? So let me break it down for you. Whenever we're a little bitty baby, we don't know any English, right? Or any language for that matter. But we do know like things like colors and shapes. We just don't have the words to communicate it yet. Think about it in the way that you would without language. So, so visualize with me. Think about your favorite color. It pops in your head, but before a word comes with it, you see the color in your head. Instead of going purple, okay, what is, what is the word for purple in Japanese? Instead of saying purple is murasaki in Japanese, look at the color and just say murasaki. Look at the apple and just say ringo. Look at the animal and just say tori. Like, don't think 
bird. What's bird in Japanese? What's bird in Japanese? Ah, tori. Because then you have the disconnect and it will take longer and you will also confuse your brain in the process of trying to remember the words. It's okay if you don't have every single word in your vocabulary, but what you do know use. And that brings me to tip number four, which is to surround yourself with Japanese. Watch anime, watch Japanese drama, listen to Japanese music, read Japanese books, read Japanese manga. Pick up your local Japanese newspaper from your local Japanese supermarket or restaurant. Like, just surround yourself in Japanese. In the car, turn on the Japanese radio or play your favorite Japanese playlist on Spotify or listen to some Japanese podcasts. In your bedroom, watch some Japanese videos on YouTube. Try to get on Japanese TikTok. Look for Japanese posts on Instagram, read Japanese blogs, like Google in Japanese and start reading articles in Japanese. If you live in a big city, chances are there will be like a little Chinatown. And within the little Chinatown, you'll find Japanese either sections, Japanese owned buildings, like Japanese neighborhoods, Japanese churches, like they're there, they're a little bit hidden, but they're there, I promise you. Like just familiar, jump into the world of Japanese Japanese, and I promise you, you will have a better time of understanding, making connections, and just embracing everything that is Japanese language. Just dive into it. And that brings me to tip number five, which is to make some Japanese friends. Now, this might be a little difficult. If there's no Japanese kids at your school, how on earth are you supposed to make friends? Well, let me tell you, the internet exists. And if you are from anywhere that is in the West, whether it be America, especially America, Europe or Australia, just anywhere that isn't Asia, it'll, it'll be easy for you to find f Japanese friends if you are any sort of Western. So if you just go on to Japanese TikTok or Japanese Instagram, Japanese YouTube, just maybe leave some comments, like some heart emojis, give them a compliment in Japanese, you know? And they might reply to you, thank you very much. And you might be able to DM them and be like, hey, you know, I like this. Do you wanna talk about this? You wanna be friends? And if you are Western, nine times out of 10, they will say, yes, I want to be your friend because they themselves might be wanting to practice their English. They might be wanting to make a pen pal. They just might wanna make some friends for their future travel abroad trip you know they just Japanese people want to make friends with Americans as much as Americans want to make friends with Japanese people and that brings me to tip number six and that is to talk 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 a lot of people who are more right-brained when they go to learn Japanese they they master hiragana, they master katakana, they study their kanji. They study kanji and they understand like the grammar inside and out. But whenever you make them stand up and like give a presentation, an oral presentation, they tend to freeze. And it's not because they don't know Japanese or they're not like listening. They might ace listening tests. They might listen to Japanese. They might write articles in perfect Japanese, but they can't speak it out loud. And that happens with a lot of more of the right brain people, more so than the left brain people. So you just have to talk. There's no way around it. You have to speak Japanese if you're going to learn Japanese or travel to Japan. You might be saying like, Ash, nobody in my little town or school like knows Japanese. How am I supposed to do this? Let me tell you what I do. Ways to get around obstacles for speaking in Japanese is talking to yourself. And I know that sounds a little sad or a little weird, but I promise you it works. Instead of being like, mm, I really want some boba right now. You can just say, oh, boba ga nomitai yo. Just like start complaining in Japanese. Or if you get mad, like say something in Japanese. Kanajo wa totemo baka desho. Uzakin na yo. Baka. 
彼女声がとても大きいよ。うるさいね。Snarky comments that you would make in English to yourself? Try doing it in Japanese. Do this at your own risk. Next up on the list is tip number seven, and that is to teach or tutor your friends and family Japanese. Say your friend wants to learn. Why not teach them what you know? Teaching somebody the material that you're learning is one of the Best ways to have it solidify in your mind because if you can take the information and give it to somebody else, it tends to stick with you a lot better. Say, if they have questions you might not have thought about before, or they're confused about something that you were once confused about, you can tell them how to unconfuse themselves, and then you yourself will never be confused about it ever again. And that brings me to tip number Eight, and that is to attend Japanese cultural events. Oftentimes in Japanese newspapers, you'll find little events that are going on. Why not like support your local Japanese businesses, organizations, and independent artists by attending their shows and events? Not only will you meet lots of people who are a part of the culture, but you'll also meet some other people just like you wanting to appreciate and share and try the culture themselves. Now, I will say that、um, some Americans might call this appropriation, but as long as you go about it with a respectful manner, most Japanese people from Japan. Like, really treat this as culture appreciation. So, as long as you're not running around being obnoxious and just being a total weeb, I think you'll be fine. But I'm not Japanese, so I can't speak on that myself. But let me just show you what my friends who live in Japan right now. Like, what their opinions are about foreigners attending their cultural events, trying their cultural food, and wearing their cultural clothing in a respectful manner, of course. And that brings me to tip number nine, and that is to learn to pronounce things correctly. So, there are a few Japanese words that has integrated into American culture, such as karate, karaoke, sushi, bento, bonsai, just a bunch of words that we hear in a lot of American media, more so than not, that are actually Japanese words. And we pronounce these words very, very incorrectly. But it's not that Japanese people are annoyed by like how you're pronouncing it, they just don't know what you're talking about. So, for example, karaoke is how we say it in English, but it's actually pronounced karaoke. 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 And I know it's pronounced this way because my friend, whenever he came here abroad, taught me how to pronounce it correctly, along with the other words such as bento, karate, bonsai, sushi, sake, and just other things like that. So it's important to know how to pronounce Japanese words because whenever you speak Japanese and you pronounce the words correctly,、uh, you'll be able to communicate more accurately. And that brings me to my last and most important tip. Tip number 10 is don't be discouraged if you don't understand everything right away. Japanese is a Beautiful, complex, diverse language with so many different dialects and different writing forms and different mediums. There's a whole world whenever it comes to the Japanese language, and it can be really overwhelming. And it's okay if you don't understand everything at once. Some people pronounce things like really hard to understand. You might not know every single different version, every single different dialect of the same word. You might not understand every single kanji that you see. It's okay. To, it's okay to be wrong sometimes. And as long as you accept criticism and learn 
from your mistakes, then you'll be a-okay. Don't let it stop you from learning Japanese. Like, never stop learning Japanese. Don't let anybody tell you that your Japanese isn't good enough. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not smart enough. Don't let anybody tell you that, uh, that you don't work hard enough. If you put in the effort for you, then you'll be fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my 10 tips to learning Japanese. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below what you'd like to see next and click that red subscribe button for more content from yours truly. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please wear your mask, wash your hands, drink water, eat your vegetables, and have a good day. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.